Okay, so this is the track that I'm going to use to record all the vocals, uh, like drums and bass, and then later I'm going to mix everything within this project. So let me sh first explain to you what's going on over here. First of all, I'm using a custom-built PC, a 6-core processor i7, 32GB uh, RAM, so it's a pretty, pretty powerful machine. The software that I use, I really love, I've been using it for a number of years, is PreSonus Studio One. This is a version, the third version, 3. Point, I think it's 3.21 or something like that. But anyways, um, and then over here I have, I basically went through my older projects and extracted all the stems of all the synths, all the electronic drums, stuff that I've built in the past for this particular track. Uh, some of that we're going to keep, some of them we're going to dump. So for right now, let me play you. I actually have some drums and I have a synth bass. And those components later on will be removed once we record uh, live drums and synth and, 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 and a live electric bass. Uh, but let me play you what I have so far. Okay, so you can hear is basically the, the the piano part that now everybody recognizes and, and arrangement arrangements of this different synths over here that I put in, into the folder very conveniently. So uh, I'm going to mute the drums and synths. I'm going to kind of quickly go over how this track started. Basically, I was playing around with different piano chord progressions, and I really discovered this six chord progression in D minor that I really like. And so it goes like this. So I recorded this uh, maybe four years ago, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's uh, just an extraction. It's a stem that I've extracted. Uh, now, once I had this piano part, then I sort of went in and started ma playing around with different synths. So the first synth that I layer was this Twin 2, and this is from Fab Filter. So I'll let, I'll let you play that. I'll, I'll play that for you. Just solo it. Oops, I have to mute the piano. It's got sort of that electronic lead. But it meshes well, I think, with the piano part. You, know, you be the judge. Belong the link is the link of the final product, so you can, of course, listen to it. And then, at some point, I start adding more and more synths. So, to kind of quickly go over it, I don't want to go into spe specifics of each synth, uh, that's not the purpose of this tutorial, but uh, mostly th this lead is created with Twin 2 of uh, Fab Filter. Then I use this Rapture synth, which is a really good synth made by Cakewalk. I no longer use it very often because it's very unstable. Uh, I noticed that I use it for some production, it would crash a lot. Um, so I just use this, uh, for this track, I extract the stems and went with it. It, wasn't ex it was not an expensive synth. I think I got it for under $100. Then I use uh, FM8 from Native Instruments. And one of my favorite uh, synth is Alchemy 2. I use this quite a bit. Uh, for example, in this part we have some... It's kind of arpeggios that you're going to hear in the chorus. And then I use a lot of uh, contact uh, from native instruments for pianos and electronic keyboards and electronic keyboards and such. And then lay, I've also added some different white noises and low effects and such. 
uh, of different sorts. And recently, I've been adding a new uh, electric uh, keyboard part that I'm going to use for for the chorus. And it goes sort of like this. So, as you can hear, it's, I've been just playing with it with a keyboard. It's not uh, perfectly edited yet. Uh, once we layer the vocals, we're going to figure out what we need to take out, out of it and what to keep. And then, for, uh, some, simple some simple chords over which uh, Katie's going to record a vocal solo, which will be very interesting. Once again, this is a, as you can hear, see, this is just a Mark, a Scarby Mark I electric keyboard that I'm running through this contact player. All right, so that's sort of the, uh, the, the way I set up this track. We, as you can see, I created, a, I really like Studio One for, uh, it's very easy to use. I can create quickly uh, folders in which I can pack my electric drums, whether I'm going to keep them or not, I'm not sure. I have a folder with my synths, unpack, pack, and everything's nice and organized. I can minimize it quickly. Uh, kind of move, I'm, I'm very comfortable how I can move around the software, so it's, I'm really happy with the software. So, yeah, so that's sort of the setup of the, of the track. Uh, in the next episode, uh, I'll show you how I record vocals. So, thank you for watching. Please, uh, if you have any comments, uh, 